going on, family? I'm black. I'm black, not I'm back. I'm black. You know what I'm saying? We're here today to go ahead and discuss the African builders of the pyramids. Because it's a whole lot of uh, mishaps and misconceptions about damn aliens building the pyramids. Niggas talking about Caucasoids and, and Asiatics building the pyramids. So I'm here to nip that in the bud once and for all. First and foremost, though, I got to give praise and shout out to my ancestors. You know what I'm saying? Put me in position I'm in right now. Spit this shit how I can and give it to you people how you need it. You know what I'm saying? We dealing with some hard-earned facts. You know what I'm saying? When I say hard-earned, I had to stay down for a minute to, to get these concepts. And I'm going to spit it to y'all in this little old hour to where y'all can pr prove without a shadow of a doubt. You understand what I'm saying? That the Africans was the ones who built the pyramids and nobody else. I got to give a shout out to the master teachers, the ones who I'm standing on their shoulders. You know what I'm saying? Shea Conti D out, Dr. Ben, Dr. Clark, Francis, Chris Wilson, Drusilla Dungeon Houston, um, Ivan Van Sertima, uh, shit, Marcus Garvin, any, but all the, all the greats, all the great Malcolm X. You know what I'm saying? And I don't know if I meant to shake the great, shake the great Auntie D out. You know what I'm talking about? But we finna go ahead and get into this family. <clears throat> so to pop it off, I'm gonna get up out of here. To pop it off, this is uh in uh Ramsey's the third tomb. And I put this on there as the front runner because I want to show y'all how the Africans or the Egyptians, which is Africans, depicted themselves and they picked it to other nations. So A and C is the Africans. B and D is the Asiatics and the Semites. You know, them have the half breeds and shit. Are, you know, but anyway, it says uh, the painting is from Tomb Ramses the third. It's by twelve hundred BC. Shows the Egyptians saw themselves as black and painted themselves as such without any possible confusion with the Indo-Europeans, the Caucasoids or the Semites. You understand what I'm saying? But you know, you see them down here, the the, the half breeds and shit. You see the. You know, you had the, the Egyptians was dark skin and you had some some red skin, you know, brown skin, copper skin brothers. You know, you had light skins in, in Africa, which is pay uh, tribute with the Koi sun, you know, and all them people. So you see type uh, A was the Egyptian uh, seen by himself. And I'm at the bottom, y'all. I'm down here. So A is the Egyptian seen by itself. B is the Indo-European. C is the other Africans or the other blacks in Africa. D is the Semite. See what I'm saying? You got your your, your, your European, the Caucasoid. Huh? Then you got the Semite, the, the, the Jew, and, and the Arab, and all of them. Now, this first one, I gotta let I gotta lay down the foundation so y'all understand how it how the pyramids develop. So this right here is the first king in Egypt. And what and what and I gotta say this, this is the one who reunited Egypt. Egypt was, you know, they had went through a spell, but they say that uh Nama and you see the Scorpion. He was also called Scorpion King. So y'all know that damn movie uh with the rock. Y'all think no, this is where they read this is the real Scorpion King. Okay. And this is his burial. Now look at the y'all niggas when y'all die, y'all get one of these six feet deep. Man, look at how much shit he would have had because all of this is what he buried with. This is this would have been filled with, you know, gold and artifacts and just things of his lifetime. You understand what I'm saying? You see him putting it on the, the lowly Asiatic here. Oh, let me go back, y'all. See him putting it on the lowly, lowly Asiatic right here. You understand what I'm saying? The niggas is beneath him. See that's why you get that's where you get them. These niggas is beneath me. Cause they beneath us. You understand what I'm saying? See how he over. So we was kingship. And this, listen, this was the first king. So this is why when they say that Egypt, when they came out the gate, was just, they was, they was flourished in the first goddamn dynasty, y'all. The first dynasty, Egypt was already, you know, lavish pottery. Look at that, you know, this, you know, carvings and, you know, decorations, the, the tools, because they already got the brothers of the crab. They already got the brothers, you know, they already got Horus and everything. They already got their spiritual system already set up. See the tombs. Okay. Now, you go here. This is the second, uh, this is in the second dynasty. You know, it might be the second king. I think this is Jer. And again, you see his format. You see his format. Look at that. Look how, 
Look at the 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 majesty. Think of in his heyday, and this would have been a, a whole complex, you know, tomb complex for the for the king. This in the early dynasties, y'all. And see, people don't know in the pyramids, you got chambers that go down in the ground. You understand what I'm saying? Get my laser. You got pyramids that go down in the ground. So not only are you going inside the pyramid, this, the, the damn pyramid 48 stories high, you got to go, you know, almost the equal amount down in the earth. See, so I'm showing you where the, the layout is. They might not have the, the, the masonry put together, but you already, see, well, I'm going to say masonry in the grand level, but you already see the brick, you know, the mud brick or you know, cement that they was already dealing with. Well, I'm, I ain't gonna know cement. You know, the mud brick that's being laid out in rooms. These ain't no small rooms, y'all. Okay, and this would have been the king, you know, uh, Shin, or they call Shinu, or they call Cartouche or whatever, you know, where you would have had his name and everything in. See what I'm saying? Now, this is the Master Bob of Ty. See what I'm saying? Now, this is a, a step up above, uh, you know, just the, the single burial. See, now this is the master bar. And 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 I and like I said, I got to show you the the development and how, because the next step up will be the step pyramid. But see, I want you to see also that we will see fairy. You understand what I'm saying? You see the hippos right here. So they, they going on, uh, along the river. I already got weaponry. Now listen, y'all. Let me come on in here. You gotta understand, y'all gotta stop that 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 silliness about Africa was primitive. Man, primitive. Do y'all understand the 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 animals that was that's that's present in Africa now? These are some deadly animals. So you had to already have some kind of form of defense or alliance or you know uh you know strategy in a cohesive group. Because you not by yourself not going to, well, you know, unless you just special, you're not going to take down no lion. And most of the time, the lions is in packs. So you already know. And that just show you that they had, they, they, were, they had a oneness with the nature because they understood they had to work because it worked for the damn animals where it can work for us. The tandem, the, the, the teamwork. See what I'm saying? And you see this on, we on seafaring vessels. These, listen, y'all. Africans, they shipping different animals to different countries and continents because the lion is not indigenous to, to Asia or nothing like that. So when you see lions on flags and things, you understand that these were animals being imported from Africa. You're not putting no elephant, lion, and shit on no damn canoe. Okay, you can get that out your head. So you got to understand we was masters of the sea too. That's just what I had to throw in there, you know, and I'm going to jump on back up out of here. But I want you to get the majesty of the master bar. So now we go into the master bar of uh, our forum. See, and you see the chamber. Yeah, they got an entry, but the chamber goes deep inside the ground. See what I'm saying? That's why I showed you that earlier on with the, you know, development of how the Africans was using in their burials. They had mounds on top of it. Yes. You see what I'm saying? And, and then it developed, you know, to the master bars. See what I'm saying? And this would be, see, the early master bar with the shaft. And then you got the development of the step pyramid, which we're going to tackle next. So you see the step pyramid structure, which is not, I mean, you know, in all the greatness of what it is, okay, we can't take nothing away from the greatness, but it's not an actual true pyramid. It's a pyramidal structure. And I had to say that so we can go ahead and this, we can kind of, uh, we can kind of knock out the debate about it being pyramids in Mexico and in Americas and China. There are not pyramids out there. This is the only true pyramid to come to a point, but it's a pyramidal structure linking the cultural continuity to Africa in different continents. So you see as the Africans travel through different places, what I was showing you back here, as the Africans travel through different places, they, they dropped off their knowledge. They created colonies of the knowledge in different areas. Hence, you got different, like the old mix. They got the, 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 uh, hell, they got more tiger and jaguar guys than damn anything else. And they got, but they head god is the snake, Quetzalcoatl, which is the plume serpent, which is just the, the, the vulture and the snake in, in, in Egypt. See, a flying serpent that spit fire because it protects the sun. See what I'm saying? But you see, 
the pre-dynastic, what I dropped on y'all earlier. Pre-dynastic was just a little man. You had a man, and then you had them buried underground. You see how they got they, you know, they stuff underground too. See? So these are the pre-dynastic. This is the before the dynasty. So that's why I say Egypt was together before you see the first king in Egypt. That's just the one that reunified Egypt. But the pre-dynastic, see, this is the pre-dynasties. They was they had already had the the makeup of Egypt back in the day, which is why you get to your first dynasty. They already looking like this right here. See, this is because the the the, the technology, the science is moving from up from down, uh, is moving upwards from down south in Africa. See what I'm saying? The Kenya, Uganda, Ethiopia, the Nubia, the Sudan. See, and then it moved up towards Egypt. And you see the earlier uh, steps will be like in the Nubia, Sudan area. Because Egypt first uh, capital is in Memphis. That's damn near to the Delta region. So it was already up in Egypt and everything put together. That was that was the that was Nubia. See what I'm saying? Now we're gonna get this. What I was telling y'all, this is the step pyramid of Saqqara, and this is the king, the Pharaoh Zosia. Look at the dreads. Ain't no ain't no doubt about it. That's African, y'all. See, they put these. You know, King and King Tut wasn't gold. Okay, I'm gonna get into what King Tut looked like. He wasn't gold, nigga. You know what I'm saying? That's just his mad. King Tut was black. And we're going to tackle. I'm telling you, like, man, when you take, I'm, I'm walking with y'all because I got to show y'all what we was doing before this slave trade business. You know what I'm saying? And before the white folk really got a hold of media and everything, I have to lay down the blueprint of the greatness that we did so you can understand easily when I take you to different continents that when we was colonizing them, it wasn't nobody better. It was not really, it was nobody doing anything. We, we was the epitome of what civilization was. And when I show you through even Greek letter, I even I don't know how to show y'all that through the uh, treacherous Greek culture. I gave y'all a taste of that, that the Greeks didn't really exist. You know, uh, Diodorus Siculus and all these different Herodotus, they didn't exist. But the white boy lied and put an epitome on it. So this is what I'm saying. You have to go follow that lie because in that lie is some truth. Nobody named Herodotus existed, but what Herodotus said about the cultures in Russia and Egypt, the link to Egyptians, see, Egypt, that's why they got them gypsies, see, because they gypping niggas, the Egyptians, I'm talking about the real Egyptians, see what I mean? But the gypsies was the them, them Jews and shit. See, and that's why in the Bible it say you got they they cast that shadow on you. See, they give you the shadow of illusions. That, but the real message is supposed to be sent directly from the heavenly Father because this is the real message, y'all. This is in stone. Ain't no, we don't need no book to you know validate to, to validate that this is here, nigga. This is here, and somebody had to build it. Who built it? Who better than to build it? But the people that the damn land is coming from, the Africans. Okay, that's who built it. And and just in case you did you had any misconception, we left ourselves in stone. When you look inside this pyramid, it has a uh I forgot the hole what it's called, but it's a hole where you can see his you can see his statue. And what that was was like where his his spirit or his car could solar so, uh what is it called? A astral project when the sun hit him. And that you see what I'm saying? So even we knew art, man, we had architectural design, we had astronomical precision, y'all. We didn't need nobody to come and do anything for us. Okay. And this picture right here is sitting on the lodge. Okay. This is on the lodge, y'all. This is Pharaoh Zosia and Emotep, his grand vizier. Emotep, so called, they made him a damn god, Escalapius, and put him in the 13th zodiac, which is a, a fucus. Y'all, I'm trying to, so when they tell y'all we was the guys, this is facts. This is pure stone, man. And I wish I could have got a bigger picture or a better picture to show y'all just the scale. Got this, so, so you can see a person by it. Man, this is huge. We talking six, five, six thousand years ago on the Cracker Timeline, which we know they be lying. This could easily be older, which we know it is. Because the Great Pyramids of Giza is way older than what's said about you know, in the books now, because they got weathering it and water erosion on certain on certain aspects of the Sphinx. And they know that it was chambers in the Great Pyramid that had water under it. And water ain't been there in so I don't know how long. So if it was remnants of water, 
It had to be thousands and thousands and thousands of years, you know, after the fact. That's what I'm trying to tell y'all. These people lie so much, but from what they give us, that's enough to crack the damn code. Okay. Now, also, and that's why I say we don't need no book. They got to goddamn put shit in book, and they talking about us. And they said once another, go, go to let us make brick and burn them thoroughly. And they had brick for sl uh, stone and slime for and slime for the mortar. See what I'm saying? And they and and look. Ain't no damn mortar or no slime on this, y'all. This is masonry. You understand what I'm saying? They didn't have no, they don't know how to build like that. They got to build in, build in cement and mortar and slime. We don't need that. But then you got the Tower of Babel, which is just this tower right here. This is the Tower of Babel right here. See what I'm saying? And the Lord said, behold, the people is one and they shall and they have all one language, and this they begin to do, and now nothing will be restrained from them which they have imagined to do. See, cause we would man, wasn't nobody listen, y'all, wasn't nobody doing nothing like this. Nobody if you go in and get a timeline, okay, and you match up when this was built, then the timeline they give you, and you go to every other culture, nobody is moving and shaking like this. That's facts. That's facts. You can prove that for yourself. I'm moving on. Now, at this point, this is what you call the Pyramid of Maidun, okay? This was built by the Pharaoh Sneferu, okay? Sneferu is the father of Khufu, which is the builder of the first. Well, he ain't the builder of the first perfect pyramid because I'm going to show you in development. And some people think Huni built this pyramid, Pharaoh Huni. You know, other people, because Sneferu, he messed up on one of his pyramids, another one of his pyramids. So this could, so it's up for debate. Some people say Huni, some people say Sneferu. My point is, it's an African that built it. But people lean more towards Sneferu because of the fact that he went through stages and built the first perfect pyramid. So this is the pyramid of Maidun, okay, in Africa, in Egypt. And what I'm showing y'all again is the development of pyramid building, okay? I'm showing you the development. So now this pyramid right here, this is the big pyramid. And again, this is Sneferu. See, the pyramid, they tried to make it a perfect one. But, it, it you know, it, it rounded out and got bent. And if it would have kept going, it would have fell over. So the thing is, they went ahead and just curved it on out. See what I'm saying? But, you man, this is straight stone, man. This I mean, family, ain't nobody doing this. And even our imperfections is wonders of the world. Even the even the imperfections. This damn king here put more, more damn stone down than any one king. We talking about Sneferu on them pyramids, man. See what I'm saying? Clearly a black man. Ain't no Asiatic. Man, that's what I'm saying. All of the knowledge is coming from the interior of Africa, the inner of Africa, not outside coming from Europe or nowhere. Because if it was, you would have seen the development of the pyramids coming from across the Mediterranean Sea. But you don't see no damn pyramids over there with no Europeans. You know, six, seven thousand years. You know, whenever they, they say these pyramids here was being built four, five thousand years ago. You don't see none of that. Them niggas, you know, and then they try to talk about Mesopotamia. They a damn lie. Mesopotamia was in there with mud ziggurats that 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 ain't even now they stand in the day because they done reconstructed them. But we talking about these pyramids ain't got they ain't been reconstructed. Can and they still standing, foundation still solid. These other clowns who claim in the Mesopotamia and, and our Mesopotamia and Babylonia is is the extension of, of Africa, of Cush, because Bab uh Nimrod was the son of Cush. Now, nigga, you ain't coming before nobody that you the son of. So if you the son of Cush and you went to create Assyria and Babylonia, that would mean that it came after this. You the son of it. So how the heck, don't let these people fool y'all, man. That Mesopotamia is not older than Africa. It is not a civilization. It's not nothing that's older than Africa. And they got aboriginals and shit in, in, in Australia. They say they got wall caving and paintings and shit that go back 60, 70,000 years ago. Well, God damn it, they were not native to Australia. They know that they came from Africa. So my question is to you, how the hell do you think 
that a civilization that was that's that I ain't gonna say primitive, but that you know under Egypt, under the African greatness. How do you think that they could have came before the greatness that was presented before them? What I'm saying is, if this is the mother culture, how the hell is the extension of the mother culture going to come back and, and say that they was the first ones to do anything? Nigga, you came from greatness. So you you didn't do anything other than what was expected of you if you was doing anything great. Come on, man. Y'all got to... you. you mean, <laughs> You got to know this is where it started at, man. That's why all the secret uh, societies and everything try to model the Egyptian. If Mesopotamia and everything was so great, they would model after the Mesopotamian thing. They not doing that. Everything is built that they want to be a pyramid. They want to have Sphinx. They want to have the damn, you know, the woolly haired uh, uh, judges. And stuff because that that's where that's where the that's where the, 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 the culture come from. You understand what I'm saying? Now, this is again Sneffa Rules Red Pyramid. Now, it's red because of the uh the stone that they was using, the reddish limestone. See, but this is the first perfect pyramid. See, laid down by Sneffa Root. So even and they don't that's why when you they don't talk about these pyramids because that'll be an indicator, prime indicator that Africans built it. They stop y'all at the Giza Plateau. No, hey, I ain't taking nothing away from it. The Giza Plateau is what is deserved for what it is, but what you but but they don't want that connection further down south. They don't tell y'all about the Red Pyramid. That's why they can tell y'all that the damn aliens built the damn pyramid because ain't nobody clued in on where it's really coming from. So Sneferu, he got this pyramid, like I say, called the Red Pyramid, or it's called the North Pyramid or the Bat Pyramid. See, it was the third one built by Sneferu. And while I was telling y'all, his first attempt after completing the Pyramid of Huni at Maidun. See what I'm saying? That's why I say they say uh, it was Huni Pyramid or whatever, but Sneferu was, you know, it is what it is. He completed it. You know what I'm saying? And it wasn't a perfect pyramid. That's why he went on to build a bent pyramid, trying to perfect it. That didn't work out. He went and, you know, did the, the, the Red Pyramid. And that was the perfect guy, you know, the perfect blueprint for his son, who was Khufu, who the Greeks call Cheops, C H E O P S. Y'all go look it up. They, they they make mythology about our greatness, man. See, this is in Dashur. See what I'm saying? And it was sheathed in white limestone. But the, see, the the, the lowly Arabs and, and all of them in the, in the area came to come take the damn limestone off to build a mosque and everything. Huh? So that's how you know they talking about the, the Egyptians there is the ones that built the pyramids. No, they are not. Because if they were, they would know how to get their own damn limestone. They wouldn't have to take it off there. See, if this was their ancient grandmother or, you know, great, 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 great grandmothers and all of that, do you think they would go tear down what their great, great ancestors put up? Of course not. Of course not. Do you? Okay, for example. If uh one of them, you know, Muslims or whatever the Egypt, them Arabs and Muslims and stuff, whatever Allah done put in place, and they great ancestors done put this in place for the world world to run by. Do you think that them damn Muslims is gonna go down a thousand years from now and go take off the black mortar from the damn Kaaba to go build anything? No, because that's what they connected to. So that's how you know that they're not connected to these pyramids because they defaced them. They shit, you know, took down the, the 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 bricks from them, shot cannons and and blew blew shit up. See what I'm saying? That's how you know they ain't had nothing to do with it. The Africans is the ones who did it. They the ones who laid it down. Okay. Now, this is a better picture of it. Just look at that, y'all. Look at that, man. We talking, you know, eons. That ages ago. See what I'm saying? Literally, because the ages of Zodiac House, if this was built 4,000, 5,000 years ago, that's two houses. That's an age. That's ages ago, man. Look at the majesty, and, and you still come back to wonder how in the hell did they do this? You don't go to no other culture and civilization and really just see and ask yourself. Sometimes you might, but not in this. In the magnitude of this right here, the astronomical uh, precision, we talking about lined up true perfect north. I know this ain't the one. It's on the great, you know, the great geezer plateau. But we talking about 
you lining them damn things up to be on 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 uh you know astronomical uh uh precision precision of numbers you know what i'm saying true north you got them going true north you already know that they earthquake proof they sitting in the middle of the damn listen it's the middle of the world the middle of the earth how do you do it you line it straight up with orion's belt you see you man y'all gotta understand the high sciences that's involved in just putting the pyramid down okay now look this is what this is uh khufu pyramid also he called cheops call him king cheops okay that's what the greeks call him you know they, and they call him khufu but look man look at that and they was see this the one that you can see still got the uh some of the alabaster on there i'm sorry or the limestone would have covered the whole pyramid damn thing with a little like a diamond you understand what i'm saying the arabs come and, and take the damn the limestone and stuff out to make they you know mosque and all of that that's why we need to take our stuff back man we need to quit playing with these people look at the man good lord look at it you're not looking at nothing else and all like that. You know what I'm saying? 6,000, 7,000 years old. You're looking at it in all. Come on, man. You see, this one here, this is uh, this is his son. This is Kafre. This is Kafre right here. This is his pyramid. You see what I'm saying? So you seeing, and he's the son of uh, Khufu. See? So Kafre laid down, and y'all understand these damn pyramids, and one of them is over 2.5 million stones. Oh, sorry, 2.3 million stones. And the average weight on the damn stone is 2.5 million tons. Did, you, did Is you hearing me? And the damn, it ain't no mountains out here, y'all. So they getting the damn, the, the brick or the stone, not brick, the stone, quarry from Aswan, which is damn near 800 miles away. Do you understand what the man, listen, you have to have some technology that will hold 2.5 ton worth of damn stone and then have it to be able to transport almost 800 miles. 800 miles. Then the the higher you go that's the you know they got the the the, the heaviest uh stone at the top what machinery do you got that can put brick up 40 stories not brick what am i keep saying stone what, what what equipment do you have to put stone up 40 stories man i'm trying y'all not understanding the science these people have to put all people have to put that look at them they still looking at them man oh like man, he mad because that ain't his. He ain't got nothing to do with. It. That's an African king, y'all. That's an African king, y'all. And he on my YouTube. If you look on my YouTube icon, you see the Pharaoh Kafre with the with the with the Horus behind him, huh? You understand what I'm saying? Yes, sir. Okay. Now this is uh Menkara. Now, Menkara is the son of Kafre and the grandson of Khufu. You understand what I'm saying? And the great grandson of Seneferu. Okay. All right. Now we gotta we gotta know this. We gotta know this because just like y'all can talk about the, the presidents in order, and y'all can talk about, you know, the different uh hell, anybody, uh, uh, Lil Wayne's son or or whoever son, you should know your African king and you should know their lineage. So you can talk proudly about your people. Like just like white folk can talk about Princess Diana and King Charles and our Prince Henry and all these other pedophiles and shit. You need to go back to let me come on back in here. I ain't been here the whole time because I've been I, I'm gonna come back in here. I'm coming. Because just like the you niggas can reiterate these great royal families and shit, Princess Diana and it, and these pedophile families, you should be able to go back to your African majesty and pay an homage to your ancestors that laid it down that showed you niggas come from greatness. Bottom line. See, this is the importance of knowing your history because a nigga can't tell you nothing. You, I don't want to hear about no Alibaba. I don't want to hear about no none of them. 
I don't want to hear about that Diana or Victoria. Nigga, I'm talking about Minkara. Because until Princess Diana and everything can, can produce something like this in society, not even a pyramid, but when your intellect can produce something that steamrolls civilization into a process like this, I don't want to hear nothing you talking about. I'm paying homage to my ancestors. And just like you give Buddha power and these other pedophile people power by speaking their name, Will and Jada, God damn it, I'm boosting on my ancestors daily. Khufu, Kafe, Minkara, Sneferu, Huni, Jer, uh, Mini, this is these, this, that's my lineage. I'm talking with Ramsey, Seti. I'm talking about that's my lineage. I don't know about no Uncle Tom niggas y'all talking about. I don't worship them niggas. Okay. And I don't, I understand that these genetics is in me. It's something called epigenetics. You niggas look it up. Your process of your DNA is, is transferred. So you got 23 chromosomes, 23 chromosomes of your mom and daddy, and they got them chromosomes from their mom and daddy, which got it from their mom and daddy. So you a combination of everything that happened in your pack. Nigga, I know I come from royalty. I don't know what you niggas is on. <laughs> I don't know where y'all come from. I know I come from royalty. You understand what I'm saying? Which is why this is just it, it fascinating to me because I'm living my life in the future, but I can see the greatness I've done in my past. You understand what I'm saying? I can't, I can't stress that. I can't stress that enough, family. I can't stress that enough. You have to know where you come from so you know where you stand and you can figure out where you going, your course of action. Because once you understand this was your, your, this was your reality before you was infiltrated, there is no excuse. There is, I, I won't accept anything less. I need to make this my reality at this point. And nothing else any other people is talking about could really amount to how I'm feeling right now about knowing where I come from and what it's going to take for me to get there. Bottom line. That's bottom line. All right, family. I, I, I had to do that. I'm good for a round or two, you know, within the course of a video. Now, this, I'm coming out of here. This is the Black Pyramid of a minimum hat. Now, y'all know the stone that the builder rejected, the black stone, if you're in the masonry and all of that, huh? See, we don't have to have any uh, mythologies about our history. There it is. And I know the Black Pyramid right here is in the dilapidated state because the science started to decrease as we went on into the future. You know what I'm saying? Because you don't need, you know, we had wars going on in the land. You had to, you had to. You know, your finances need to be geared towards some warfare now. You understand what I'm saying? You you got different priorities. You don't know how to lay down that you got the science for the for the for your, you know, your your descent. And I ain't no damn descendant. I'm an ascendant of Africa. You understand what I'm saying? I'm ascendant, uh, ascendant of Africa. I'm not no descendant. So they already knew when the real ascendants of Africa get a hold of this knowledge, what they had to do with. It. I know what I gotta do. I gotta wake my people up and then get right. I ain't gonna put all my shit out on the on the internet, but I, I'm gonna get right. You understand what I'm saying? And those who wanna who who tired of you know the the mediocrity that we living in and see the hypocrisy that's going on, once they get vibe of what's going on on this channel, reach out to me. Link with me so we can make you know we, you know, I ain't gotta say too much. But the point I'm trying to make on this pyramid right here, even though it's in, like I said, the lapidated state. When you look up Herodotus, and y'all niggas know about Greek mythology, the labyrinth, and they got the Minotaur in the middle of the labyrinth. Now, hear me out. The labyrinth was a, a, a part of the complex of the Black Pyramid. Herodotus him said, himself said it had over 3,000 rooms. Hold on. Let me go to. See, don't believe me. Don't believe me. I, I'm pulling up. I pull up the facts. You can go look this up, y'all. Now, the, look, listen, there are these are the words of the ancient Greek historian Herodotus written in 5th century BC. Histories, book 2, page 148. Look it up. Go get the book, y'all. I don't tell y'all to believe me. That's the source. Now, this was a Greek who, stayed, who was around this time. Listen, he described a colossal temple said to contain 3,000 rooms full of hieroglyphics and paintings. It was named Labyrinth by the Greeks after the complete maze of corridors designed by Daedalus for King Minos of Crete where the legendary Minotaur dwelt. Now, now, what's, what's key about this, I'm not going to go into it deep because I got a whole lecture on this. The Minoans is supposed to be the first civilizations of the Europeans on the island of Crete. But as you can see, 
Herodotus is telling you that the damn labyrinth, okay, which is in Egypt, was was mimicked about because in Crete you got the uh, the bull, mine, uh, you know, men. You had a bull men, okay. But understand this: in Egypt, you had the bull Apis, Osiris, which you know we gonna, I ain't gonna deal with that. But you got Apis, okay. Apis, which is the bull for Osiris, just like Isis take on the form of Hathor, you had a, a, a zoomorphic form of Osiris, which was the bull. You understand what I'm saying? So the bull was an aspect of the god that was in Egypt, but you find that in Crete. So it wasn't no damn European civilization. It started as an African civilization, and I'm going to tackle that. I, listen, family, when I tell y'all y'all going to be right when you fuck with me, I got a whole lecture on how the Etruscan started Rome and, and over there in and, and Italy. And I already done tackle the Minoans being an African civilization. Facts. OK, but back to this. See, the labyrinth and the reason why the bull or the Minotaur, which is half man, half bull, huh? Half man, half bull, because Osar could take on the form of a bull. So he sat in the middle of the labyrinth. And he was supposed to be the son of the, the you know, uh, one of the, uh, the the kings or the gods or whatever. But all that is is just a symbolic form of representing a minimum hat and his black pyramid. Listen now, the mighty ancient Egyptian labyrinth became lost to pages of history at least four times. Now you can see the enig enigmatic ruins of Egypt's uh, Egypt's fable labyrinth and learn about its fascinating history. Herodotus was not the only historian to describe the labyrinth of ancient Egypt. The massive temple complex was described by many classic authors, including Manetho of uh, Egyptia, uh, Egyptiaca, because they could, you know, Egypt took on many names. Egyptos was one of them, which was, you know, a bastardization of what this is. Egyptiaca. You had Diodorus Siclus in the first century. He was, Manetho was in the third century. But see, I, I took it all the way back to the fifth century. And if you go back to the sixth century, which will be uh, uh, Thales. See, and Thales wasn't no damn Greek historian. He was from Iona. See, all the early historians who they try to say was Greek was from Iona or, you know, different places like that. Thrace. They wasn't from, you know, really where they be like Athens and stuff. They really wasn't from there, even though Athens was set up by Pharaoh Cicero. Okay, the third. Facts. Herodotus said it himself. Facts. They even said that he was the one that's supposed to be Hercules. Look at, does that look like any cracker to you? That is a black man. A minimum hat. Put it down on them crackers. You understand what I'm saying? He gave him so many ass whoopings, they deified him. See? So, that y'all gotta stop that, and y'all gotta ask yourself, how the hell does a first civilization start on an island? Huh? So, even though it's in his dilapidated state, like I said, this man said this pyramid in this heyday had over 3,000 rooms on the top. And I told y'all it's, it's, it's sections in the bottom of the pyramid. He's, and when you read that book, in his in, in that book, it say they got over, it got more rooms underneath. Man, you heard 3,000, look, 3,000 rooms full of hieroglyphs and paintings. That's on the top. That's in the temple. But when you go inside the motherfucker, when you went inside it, it was more underneath. Read it. Read the book. Y'all go read the book. Okay. Now, again, this is what I was saying point to early. You see the three uh, the three stars of Orion Belt, they lined up perfect with the pyramid. So you had to have high science about astronomy, astrology, architecture. All that had to be on point because you can't make no mistakes, nigga. <laughs> you, you can't make no mistakes. Now, it ain't like you moving no, no, you, I don't know how many, whatever that way up to. You ain't moving no pyramid. A whole period. Oh, I done messed up on some degrees. I got to push it back. Ain't no pushing it back. See what I'm saying? So you you can say whatever you want, but nigga, you got to have some high science. And not only is that, but you see the structures in Mexico lined up just like the ones in Egypt. You see the ones in China because it's py pyramidal uh, structure. I'm not going to say it's, pyram it's pyramidal structures in China. Do you understand what I'm saying? Lined up the same way. And all of them is lined up offset off just like the Orion's belt. See, so you you see all of the pyramids, they kind of look about the same, but Khufu had the biggest pyramid out of the three. 
Then you had Kafre, then you had Menkara, who had the smallest one. But what they did, because they wanted to honor the, the father, they didn't want to make no pyramid bigger than the other one. But Giza, like I said, it's a plateau. So what they, what they did was they, Menkara, uh, put his smaller pyramid on a bigger plateau so it looked equal. <laughs> That, that that's love right there, man. See, that's that's respect. That's respect. You had the then you had the grandson that said, I'm not gonna outdo the father or the grandfather. I'm gonna build it high, I'm gonna build it smaller, but I'm gonna have it higher on the plateau. And again, you see the declination in the pyramid age as the generations went on, which is why when you get here to uh oh my bad, when you get here to the black pyramid, see what I'm saying? It's it's not as in a uh a, a a reform state. Not only that, you had all them crackers over here, you know, doing that craziness to them. So, you know, of course that, and then it's black too. So, you know how they was feeling about that. That's too much. They can't give it up like that. But that's the black pyramid, y'all. And we didn't tackle the uh, astronomy of it, and even how they took it to different places. Because if you look at the pyramid grid, and when I mean the pyramid grid, let me come in here. Let me come in here. We gonna, we, we you know, we all must start family, but I gotta let y'all know. I'm lacing y'all up. This is profound and prolific information. You're not, you're not getting this nowhere else, man. But see, when you look at the pyramid grid, it's laid out. You got Egypt right here. You will have uh, America over here. Well, let me come back. America over here, Egypt right here. You know what I'm saying? And you come over here to China. You know, all of that is on the line. It's an energy grid. You understand? When these people knew what they was doing. An energy grid. I'm man. We didn't need nobody. We didn't need nobody. I'm I'm I'm, a, I'm going to say that we didn't need anybody. They needed us. You understand what I'm saying? Let me come on back out of here. Now, I, and and this is the, this is exactly. I need. I'm glad I did this. You can see the different. See see this is Upper Egypt right here. Y'all, the map is y'all don't understand the map is upside down, and this is a perfect, perfect, perfect uh, example. If this would be the top, how is that lower Egypt, and how is this upper Egypt? See what I'm saying? Because the knowledge came from inner Africa. All the temple, look, the first capital of Egypt is Memphis. That's down there in the Delta. And when you look at it, it looked like again like a lotus. So now you see why the lotus is so sacred, but. You got all these pyramids alone way before. See, you you got you got Saqqara right here. So that would have been the step pyramid. See what I'm saying? You got Giza right here. You got Cairo. You understand what I'm saying? But you can see how the how it, it the knowledge came up the Nile. It didn't come from over here. See, see in Nubia. So, you understand what I'm saying? Sudan. And then Egypt way up here. But the the, the whole layout, y'all got to understand that the river flow, that, that's why they call it down north and up south. Because in the south is where our knowledge was. If the, the head deity in Egypt were a damn ostrich feather. There is no ostriches in no desert, y'all. They got that animal in inner Africa, near Ethiopia, the Ethiopian ostrich, Nubian, everything. And you will see reliefs or paintings of the Nubians carrying different animals to trade. So if it was war and everything, how the hell is they trading? And they, they ain't no slaves. These niggas got gold and, you know, and everything on too. Nubia mean gold. Egypt don't mean gold. You understand what I'm saying? Man, y'all got to wake the fuck up, man. Y'all got to wake up to understand. Nigga, you get Nubian braids, nigga. And when they look on them Egyptian wild, they call them Nubian braids. Nubia is down here. Nubia is down here. You're not getting no damn, they ain't calling no Egyptian braids. It's called Nubian braids. Do you understand what I'm saying? These is the same people. It said in your Bible, if you read it, the 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 Ethiopians and the and Mizraim was brothers. And you know who else is brothers? Canaan over here. The Sinai. You understand what I'm saying? D all was black people. Ethiopia was swimming, or not swimming, fuck a swim. I'm tripping. They were sailing over there to uh Yemen, which is right on the other side. What uh, uh, on the other side of the Red Sea. 
See, it when you when you cross that Red Sea, Yemen is right over there from Ethiopia. From Ethiopia. See, that's how they knew because they had the same language system set up. Stop playing with me. I don't want to hear. I don't want to hear nothing. I'm trying to tell y'all. Y'all not fooling with no, 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 no beginner. And when you, by the time we finish these slides and everything, as far as when I done laid it all out, y'all gonna be lace tight. Now they try to tell you that slaves built the pyramids, but this is a whole relief. The Africans showed you ain't no slave. Ain't no Jewish slave. These is African stone cutters finishing the dressing of the limestone. See, that's why I said they put the limestone on top of the damn pyramid. Do you understand what we didn't need? What do we need a damn goat herder for? How's a goat herder going to help us build a, a damn pyramid? What mathematics do you need or high science do you need to shovel goat shit? What, what, what mathematics do you need to, to wander? aimlessly in the desert you don't need no high science so how the hell is we gonna have a group of uh uh idiots or barbarians putting together mathematical equations to cut block to chisel stone to to maneuver stone with sound build temples that's that, man i'm when we man i'm trying to tell you i'm gonna get to that temple building construction and stuff and i'm gonna show y'all how they was building temples to coincide with different sound resonations to heal you Man, we, bro, I, I don't want to hear nothing about no damn primitive. Nothing. Nothing. Okay? And again, you see the stone cutters on the, on the pyramid right here. You, you Stone cutters. They them like slaves to you. They got chains and, and people whipping them in it. You don't see none of that. You understand what I'm saying? You see Africans doing the African thing. Which is, which is, which is uh, which is you know, altering niggas' minds, asking how did you do this? Just like you see Michael Jordan gliding through the air, just like you can see uh, you know, uh, what was you know, uh, what's his name? Bo Jackson play three sports and dominate. Just like you can see Deion Sanders and De Devin Hester just take shit to the crib and niggas game plan or not, so they don't do it. And you niggas say, man, how that nigga do this? How they do? That's just what Africans do, nigga. They call it shit metaphysical, bitch. We just call it being us. White boys came over there seeing us. They want to label it spiritual, and I don't deal with spirituality because shout out to General Seti, nigga. That just mean you fucking with spirits, nigga. We was in a divine state, nigga. We knew who we was. We knew we wanted to go. You understand what I'm saying? We had a, a, a singular aim. Now you niggas is just, like I say, you're just like them nomadic Israelites. You niggas are just wandering around aimlessly. But, but get that out of there, because this is the truth. Now we're going to deal with some, with some documents. In the U.S. news, Egypt, new find shows slave didn't build pyramids. Huh? Egypt displayed on Monday newly discovered tombs more than 4,000 years ago and said they belong to people who worked on the Great Pyramids of Giza. You're not burying and creating no tomb for no damn slaves. You're not going to go through the, the painstaking, you know, uh, labor of painting walls and getting stone together for no damn slaves. These was paid laborers. Presenting the discovery as more evidence that slaves did not build ancient monuments. The series of modest nine foot deep shafts. Do you hear me? The series of modest. That mean that, that was at their lowest. These niggas were building deep in the earth. Nine foot deep shafts held a dozen skeletons of pyramid builders, perfectly preserved by dry desert sand, along with jars that once contained barren bread meant for the workers afterlife. They wanted to look out for them in the afterlife. I don't know no slave that's that's wanted to look be looked after in the afterlife by no damn master. See, they try to get you in your head that Africans always been slaves. Nigga, get stop it, or we don't, or we had to hire some some or, or uh, enslave some genius outside of Africa. We needed the European to be enslaved so he can come build something. You a damn lie. You a damn lie. You busted. U.S. News denied it. Told us. Okay, I'm moving on. So, and then too, you, the people don't understand. 
that is more pyramids in Nubia and Sudan than in Egypt. I just showed y'all what Nubia and Sudan was. That's showing you. That, see, they don't want to tell you about that because they're showing you where they come from. And you can go move in some of these damn pyramids right now. Right now. See? W w see? We didn't, man, listen. I'm talking about we have structure. We have evidence, artifacts. You know what artifacts is? The fact is in the art, nigga, that you was there, that you was, your culture existed. We don't see no Hebrew. We don't see no Jew. We don't see none of that, but we see Africans. And the Africans back then didn't call, they didn't worship no damn Jehovah, no Allah, or, or, or Jesus. That didn't exist. So then you have to ask yourself, what was your African system before religion? That's what you have to ask yourself. Because your system right now don't have you. You ain't going to Christianity building nothing like this. You're not going and worshiping Allah building nothing like this. Whatever had you on that singular path to greatness had you building structures like this that's going to last you in a lifetime. You're still talking about them pyramids right now. That See, that, that then they're going to be here 5,000 years when we not. You understand what I'm saying? See, Egyptian pyramid. It's 138 discovered in Egypt. But in Sudan and Nubia, a whole 255. These is the Nubians. See what I'm saying? And the Nubians was the ones, whenever Egypt was out of line, they had to come up north or, or go down north and get it together. Now, do them look like crackers to you? And when you look at the headdress, it got the snake. It got two snakes. See, that mean they running both lands. So, I, so if you got Africans with running both lands, at what point in time do you have an Asiatic or any kind of cracker <coughs> coming in? I'm I'm confused. And and when they come, let me let me show y'all something. See, when they try to tell y'all that old oh, uh, they came in and just dominated everything. Most of the time, y'all, the, the crackers will stop way up here. They really didn't even make it down, and they damn sure didn't make it down here. They didn't make it down there. You understand what I'm saying? In, in the ancient times, they tried to tell you Alexander and all of them. They This is a recent, you know, uh, thing where you see crackers, uh, you know, and they, they really don't even come to Sudan. They, they stay up there. The Arabs will stay up there. But this is a recent phenomenon. This is not nothing in ancient times. They was running things. You know what I'm saying? Because at any time, you can really, and that's what they showing them now, Ethiopia could dam the river, and Egypt wasn't getting no water. So you you know it's a, 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 a oneness there. And it wasn't no crackers running anything because we could have ran them out at any time. Like right now, I don't know why they were playing and waiting so long to run the Arabs out. I don't know. But they, but it's happening now. Again, I want to show. This is what a Nubian look like. Do you see the headdress with the two snakes? This is a black. This is an African, y'all. This is African. Okay, there is another. There is another. One. That's what the Nubian look like. That's Queen Amenarinus, uh, Amenarinus. My bad, Amenarinus, the African queen who conquered the Romans. Big facts. You, when the, when the archaeologists and y'all gotta go watch my uh uh black woman is God, but when the archaeologists went and discovered some tombs out there in Nubia, huh? Guess what they found underneath the uh the ruler head? I mean uh, underneath the ruler foot, the head of of Caesar, uh, Caesar Augustus, huh? Man, that woman put a beat down on the Romans so bad they didn't want they. That's why I say they didn't even come to Nubia no more. Facts. That's in history. So all of that talking about the Romans was, man, get up out of here. It's a fact that Queen of Monarinus did not, she didn't lose y'all. She didn't lose y'all. Facts. You see that lion down there feasting on crackers. That's right. That's right. This is, again, Nubia. They already got Horus because that's where the, the Egyptians come from. Nubia is is up the river. This the 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 knowledge flowed from down the dam from up the river. I'm sorry, the knowledge flowed from up the river down to Egypt. 
this man will be up the river and his people had the knowledge, which is why they already had the horrors in effect. I'm talking to you. Look me in my face when I'm talking to you. Again, this is Shabaka. This is a Nubian. And they got to see a snake in the in the hedge with the with the with the uh the the crook. I'm, I ain't going to guide you. I'm just going to beat the hell out of you. He got two of them. Two of them. So you see what I'm saying? Don't let them people tell you that it was just crackers and, and, and wasn't nobody of African uh, descent down there. Stop it. This right here is the is a uh, Castor incense burner. I'm coming back in. I'm coming back in because it's going to get heavy. Now, this proves this was in the uh, museum. I forgot what museum it was. Oh, my bad. The Oriental Institute. Yeah, it was in the Oriental Institute. Now, this is a pre-dynastic incense burner of Egypt. They found this in Nubia. And you see it got the same making, the feline, see, which will be, you know, it's the panther or the leopard, or it will be the lion in Egypt. But the leopard, they had the priesthood, the leopard skin was on the priesthood, you know, in Egypt too. So they had the feline in the boat, huh? See, they got Horus is the falcon deity right here. They got the seated ruler with the white crown, the crown of the south. See, down, sorry, uh, down north. My bad. Down north will be upper towards the delta. Up south will be more towards Nubia. See what I'm saying? Up south, with, again, I'm going to put it right here. See, this is up, this is down north. See, because the river is flowing down. Egypt is sitting on the hill. It's a, I'm sorry, Africa is on the hill. Egypt is at the bottom, which will be right there with the Mediterranean. And the Nile dumps off into the Mediterranean. See what I'm saying? So as the river flows, that's where the people flow. See, this is where the incense burner was found in Lower Nubia. But it got the, the, the facade of the palace. You see what I'm saying? Which is like the master bar. What I showed y'all earlier. They already had that in, in Nubia. The the king. See with the Pharaoh with the headpiece? All of this is in Kastul in Lower Nubia. Before it's even in Egypt. See, this is pre-dynastic. So Egypt is coming from inner Africa. <laughs> and the pyramid building technology is also coming from inner Africa. Because you see, I showed you the 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 sequence of the development of coming into the perfect pyramid started with the underground development. Hear me, let me, let me go back. It started with the underground development, right? See what I'm saying? And then you move to the master bar. So when you see that, that palace facade, you see, you see, look at her, see the lines. That's all that the, that's all that that is. So they had all of that in place before Egypt was even there. There was no Egypt at this time. So the people that set up Egypt was the black people. That's what that's my whole point. But I got to lay this to y'all now. I got to lay that to y'all. Okay? That would have been the palace facade, which is there's the master bar. Okay, now I I I just needed y'all to follow that. So you just keep this right here in your mind. So when I pull up the Castul incense burner again, huh? When I pull up the Castor incense burner again and put my laser back on, you see that that same them lines. That's the same facade, same crown, the king, the, the ruler. See, and Nubia before it was Egypt. So you you can't even put that timeline. That timeline for Egypt is not right. That shit can be much old, way older than they say. Which it is. Like I said, you come all the way up here, and this is where you got your first capital of Egypt. So all of this was going on before you even had your first capital of Egypt. Again, shout out to that boy, Young Pharaoh, man. I got this straight off uh, Young Pharaoh slide, man. I, shout out to him. Okay? And people don't understand that when you follow the temple and uh, when you see like Joseph, number one is Joseph. So that will probably be somewhere down here. But when you follow that temple structure, the temples and the uh, the pyramids, they all make up what's called the land of Osiris, Boo Wizard. See? So that's how you know the shit is African because it represents your African God. They laid out, listen, y'all, 
they laid out the different complexes along the Nile River to resemble Osiris. That's tough. That's tough. And it go all the way from Zoja to uh, you know, uh, Sneffer rule. You have this, you know, another unfinished, you know, uh, complex or whatever. But the now they say here, uh, the high plateau, see, because it's on the plateau, uh, uh along the bush green now valley, Osiris is often, uh, you seen with the green body depicting vegetation and rebirth. That's what he represented rebirth, vegetation. So the temples and stuff was a sign, and the pyramids was a sign of rebirth, resurrection. Uh, regeneration. You understand what I'm saying? But it was also of uh, an energy field. Again, like I said, it was a uh, it was a, a a a way to use natural energy. And I I had to tackle that on another lecture. I'm not gonna do it because that'll have me running two three hours on this lecture, man. I ain't gonna do it. But again, that's another dagger on that just stop anything about aliens or some building a damn pyramid because they modeled this after they God. Not just the pyramids, but the temple complexes. And all of the temple complexes are in the south. In the south. Where Nubia, it started right in there. Abydos and all of that. That's in Nubia. Okay? Now, I had to throw this in there because I don't want y'all to just think that all the greatness is in East Africa. Now, this right here is the pyramid of Agadiz in Nasri. Okay? Now, this comes from and this is the complex. See what I'm saying? This is the complex. Now, this, you know, it, it's in, it, down there in ruins, but it was two of them. See what I mean? Now, I want y'all to see something. I want y'all to see how they say how old these is. A dam, uh, a Dombaki, a village in Niger, about 20 kilometers from Zender, an extraordinary discovery was made by a specialist in Egyptology, Mr. Garba Soli. There would have there would have discovered a pyramid in the Sphinx's oldest Egyptian pyramid that that would mean this pyramid would be back more than 12,000 years. We talking about a pyramid in West Africa that's pushing 12,000 years, y'all. Are you hearing me? Or, no. Are you seeing me? I have to know that. I have to know that. You can see, I mean, you can see how they they have the Sphinx, same thing. The Sphinx, y'all. This is a this is what we mean by cultural continuity. Look it up. Pyramid of Agadiz in Niger. Look it up. Okay, I'm going on now. If if it was some aliens that that was building pyramids, I'm summing it up, y'all. They would have got the shit right the first time. They wouldn't need to be. Going through processes of, oh, well, I messed this one up. Let me go to the next. They wouldn't need that. And if it is, they would have started building pyramids everywhere. They wouldn't have done it earliest time in Africa and then spread out a long time. Coincidentally, the same time that human migration started. Come on, now. They try to time this up, and what y'all got to understand is once you know these facts right here, it debunks all of it. So there were no pyramids. Uh, sorry, there were no aliens that built the pyramids. Again, I pose the question, if they did, why would they need, why would the need to develop the technology and architecture? My bad, I think I, I, I type out there. If they did, why would they need to develop the technology and architecture? That's a serious question. Serious question, because then, damn, well, we, they ain't no more civilized than us. They fuck up just like us. You know what I'm saying? And, 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 and if the Jews built the pyramids, well, what they pyramids in their homeland? Did. They just started building when they came over here. See, y'all don't don't fall for it. Now, in the words of my great master teacher John Henry Clark, rest his soul. You understand what I'm saying? The cruelest thing, slavery and colonial. Man, let me come on in here. Pay homage to this king, great God, deified. He should be deified, just like just like emo tell for waking people up. He he better than Jesus. He woke niggas up. But woke him up mentally. He brought niggas from back from the dead mentally, along with our other master teachers, along with Dr. Ben, you know, uh Francis Chris Wilton, uh Trucilla Dunja Houston, the people who still wasn't that, doc, uh, uh 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 you know Dr. Claude Anderson, uh General Seti, you know what I'm saying? The young, the, the the young and the old, the kings that's pushing the 
the civilization and the culture forward to not so much be building pyramids, but to take the same genius of what it took to build the pyramids and propel us back to a state of greatness. That's what I meant it for. And on the words of, of the master, the grand teacher, the, the God himself, John Henry Clark, the cruelest thing slavery and colonial, colonialism did to the Africans was to destroy their memory of what they were before foreign contact, which was greatness. Greatness. I done already showed you Diodorus Siculus and Herodotus mentioning the greatness of the Africans. They came about when they seen them. The earliest so-called Europeans that came on the scene. When they came in contact with Africans, they showed what they seen before they got fiddled with by their predecessors and they descendants. Now, the Europe they descendants. I'm an ascendant, my nigga. You know what I'm saying? But they descendants came in and knocked us off kilter. But before that, I showed y'all what they said. And, and more importantly, I showed y'all what we did. Not just what they said, but what we did. Family, again, I'm going to end it like I always end it. I love you. You know what I'm saying? For, you got to know the enemy. Know your enemy. And until next time, family, I'm out. All right.